These numbers are projections at this stage, but could become a reality without concrete climate and development action. The report finds that if managed carefully, migration from vulnerable areas to more viable locations can bring new opportunities for people like Walde and Menorah. We are already seeing individual success stories. Twenty-three year old Manora escaped her flood-stricken community in the Kuragram district in Bangladesh. She moved to the capital Dhaka to join a program that provides young rural women with life skills. Now she's trained as a professional seamstress. She has a job offer in Dhaka that she plans to accept after graduation. Walde also plans to turn adversity into a chance to change the course of his life. The eighth of 16 children, he left his father's small farm in a drought-stricken part of Ethiopia and walked for days to the small city of Hawassa. Walde is now enrolled in Ethiopia's extensive urban safety net program. He receives a small salary for supervising street cleaners. Walde wants to study marketing at this polytechnic university, where he can attend classes for up to three years without paying tuition. Some communities are finding ways to deal with climate change that don't require migration. Javier and his brother chose to stay in their community in Oaxaca and expand their carpentry business. A sustainable forestry program has helped attract investors, enabling the community to adapt to a changing climate and build economic opportunities. Un 100% de la población emigrará un 5 o 10% y es un margen muy chico, pues no tanto a nivel bosque hay empleo. En los comercios hay empleo. No existe tanta necesidad de salir porque aquí en la comunidad no nomás hay carpinteros, hay albañiles, hay plomeros, comercios de tiendas. Así que empleo hay de todo. Menora and Walde and Javier's stories tell us that while internal climate migration is a growing reality in many countries, it doesn't have to be a crisis. 